Hey, what's going on out there, truth seekers? I, I found something interesting here. I thought it was an interesting theory to take a look at here. I haven't seen any really anybody else talking about this online. So I thought we should just take a look at this. Uh, the security guard from the Las Vegas shooting. Uh, he's a hero. He's named Jesus. So I wanted to check out his story a little bit. Just to see, you know, just to look and see if he, you know, was a hero or a foe. In this article, it says, Jesus Campos is a true hero. Under Sheriff Kevin Mc, McMahill said in a news conference Friday, We now know that he was dispatched to a door alarmed on his 32nd floor. He went up there to investigate the open door. And as he was doing his job, he came under fire by our suspect. Campos was struck in the leg. Re Retreated and notified his dispatcher. McMahon said, This was a remarkable effort by a brave and remarkable man, he said. So this is interesting. You know, I, this is just an interesting story to me. We come down here and it says, you know, Paddock fired well over 200 rounds in the hotel hallway. But Campos was only struck in the leg. So we come over here. Let's check this out here. Here's a uh, quick video, a uh, quick news report from uh, Action 13 News. Let's, let's, let's watch this here. Uh, the unarmed security guard who was the first to find the shooter's room uh, has been identified. His name is Jesus Campos. Now, his bravery also likely saved countless lives here. His story is incredible, and he's talking about surviving hundreds of shots being fired at him. Marissa Kiniston has his story of heroism. Security guard Jesus Campos was only carrying a nightstick while he was on random patrol Sunday night in Mandalay Bay. At the same time, Stephen Paddock was in his hotel room firing onto the festival crowd. He was personally attempting to locate uh, what was occurring. In a matter of minutes, Campos tracked down Paddock's hotel room. Campos had no gun and he was all alone, not even close to a fair fight when the inside of Paddock's hotel room looked like this. Paddock had cameras looking outside, and he noticed Campos coming. That's when he turned his gun away from the festival and towards Campos, firing 200 rounds into the hallway. He was uh, shot in the right thigh. Campos immediately radioed into police that he found the... Okay, let's pause this video. Let's go back real quick, and let's, let's, let's watch this over again. ...side of Paddock's hotel room looks like this. Paddock had cameras looking outside. So this is the hallway that he was supposedly shooting 200 rounds in. And it should, to me, it should be torn up. I see no bullet holes, no, no, no signs of shots whatsoever. This is interesting to me. Campos immediately radioed into police that he found the location. How, how can that possibly be? No bullet holes. Say without the help from Campos, they may not have found Paddock as quickly as they did. Campos told ABC News, I was just doing my job. So I wanted to go ahead and check out to make sure that was the front door to the, to the hotel. I mean, I'm sorry, to the hallway to where Jesus Campos was coming down. I believe it was. And I checked these other videos to see the, the, the same layout. This is a video from 2016 that shows the same suite somebody stayed in the year before and uh, made this video. They have not said so, Wolf, but uh, the point I was making was is that he came here all the time, gambled a, a lot of money. Let's and, go back. And that one here all the time, gambled a, go back a lot one more time. Told us that. They have not said so, Wolf, but uh, the point I was making was is that he came here all the time, gambled. One more time. Let's go back just a little bit right here. And that, that's the same door as the picture. So that, that's the main entrance. So that that should have been to me that should have been you know full of bullet holes. I mean that was a high powered AR. I mean there's not even there's not even one mark, but it should have been full of bullet holes. So here's an actual diagram of the room. So that is the entrance, and then right here it says during the rampage, a hotel security guard who approached the room was shot through the door. So right here, and that is what they're showing, and and I see no. I see no bullet holes. I see no signs of, of any shots fired, nothing. That's, that's, that's interesting to me. Now I thought we would just check out some photos to see if there's any signs anywhere. 
Here's here's the here. This is supposed to be the front entrance. Don't see anything. I mean, this is this whole scene right here should just be ripped up. I I would believe. This is the hallway. Nothing. So tell me what you guys think below. Um, we need to look into this more and 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 find out, get some more evidence of this this story of Jesus Campos. Uh, so please subscribe below, comment, like, share. Uh, let's get let's get this out there and uh, uh, just tell me what you guys think about this. Thanks.